Welcome. Today I want to celebrate finally the completion of Leo Leo, the Matrix programmer. So I actually built two of those that I'm going to try to use it here on the patch. If you want to understand a little bit more about the history, how it was made, where does it come from, what's the purpose a little bit, I may recommend you watch preview videos that I've made about it. Uh, today's, I, today I have no big plans apart from using it and try to compose something interesting at least. <laughs> so actually you can cascade two of these and I have them. Uh, it's basically a connection of five jumper cables from back to back. So just to demonstrate a little bit, I'm gonna use, gonna use the square wave or the LFO to sequence it a little bit. So you can see this one moving. Actually, I'm gonna double the clock. So I pass the same clock to both of them. So both of them are moving on their own, but if you activate the cascading, then one will follow the other. So I might end it up, let's see, I might end it up using it like this tonight or nope. Let's see where we go from here. So let's try to build some interesting sound first. Uh, I feel like this is a little bit of a celebration of the, all the models that I've been designing for the last, say, two, three years. So it's great to see them all in a box, almost fulfilling this box. <laughs> Let's see. In the works, I still have a mixer that I'm working on and I have a couple of DSP modules that are here. Maybe we'll hear them tonight, the granular module and a delay reverb kind of module as well. I have my VCOs here, the function generator, resonant low pass gate, quad VCA. Uh, what else? I have another LFO up there. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna use these guys here from Sam Modular. If you go to sammodular.com, you'll see some recognizable models maybe. Uh, very useful nonsense models for your rock. And I'm gonna use the even clock divider and the odd clock divider. So to perfect match, you know, these two programmers, each one of them has three clock inputs basically. One for moving from left to right, another for moving from right to left, and then one, the one for moving from top to bottom, to which you can actually reset. So you can have two independent H stage sequencing going on, for example. And you can even have a 216, because you have the ABCD outputs and the DCBA outputs. One is outputting all the sync step sequencing, sequencer, sequence. <laughs> And the other one is outputting it in the reverse order, basically. Uh, so you can have two 16 steps. And with two of these, then you can have two 32 step sequencing. Okay, so to celebrate, we're gonna make some sound today. So if you're interested on building the Matrix programmer or buying it or acquiring the boards at least, uh, go check it out my GitHub page and follow up my YouTube, my Instagram. More news are, are coming soon for this and the other models as well. Hopefully soon. Let's see. So I'm thinking I'm going to use the LFO as my main clock. So I'm already guessing that I'm going to have to mult the clock for sure. So I'm just going to do that with a bigger cable. Okay, and I'm gonna pass a copy of it to the even clock divider and another one to the odd clock divider. Let's see. One goes to the even, another one goes to the odd. There we go. Okay, so now I'm, I'm just gonna start a simple sequence going on. And I'm gonna use another copy as the main clock, basically. Okay, here we go, let's start moving. Okay, so I wanna have, I think I wanna start with an eight step sequencing. Sequence, <laughs> that word is coming out. It's coming out really hard to say today. Okay, I'm gonna do eight step sequence. First need some, a little bit of water. Okay, 
for that I need to be moving my vertical clock for sure so I'm gonna be moving the vertical clock with the divided by four just trying to synchronize the the row with the column okay it's there because I can actually trigger manually each stage as well so I can synchronize the clocks or not depending on what you want so I also need to reset the vertical clock every two rows and I actually have an output just for that here you can just use it it's this one here with the divided by two text on it you call it to the reset and there now we have eight step sequence going on here and we have another one going on here on the different output okay Whew. first sequence done some water <clears throat> it's always very dry in Thailand okay we should be getting some sound right let me patch the square wave of the one of the VSO VFOs to the resonant low pass gate and then wait, I'm actually gonna patch it first for, to the Mordax so it can be something interesting to watch Okay, square wave, this one goes in here. All right, then we're just gonna use that one the same to pass it up to the resonant low pass gate here. Don't worry, the sound is coming, I promise. And then from the resonant low pass gate, gonna put it to the I'm gonna use it as a reverb today, so let's put it to the DSP model. Right up here. Okay, there we go. It can function as a filter or as a low pass gate with Vactrols. It's quite a beautiful sound actually, I love it. Anyway, from the DSP, we can go. Hmm, I'm thinking I'm maybe, 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 maybe. Okay, from the DSP, we'll go to the mixer. We'll start simple. Okay, which goes in stereo to the mixer. Almost there, almost there. get some sound okay. all right now you heard the reverb <laughs> okay we have sound so this is as a filter you see and let me increase the resonance a little bit mm. better called Krapao, she's a spicy dish that I love here in Thailand. It has a dampening functionality as also, so you can activate it with the switch and you can control the amount of dampening. Maybe we'll use it later on. I love using it as a filter and a low pass gate. I might have to build a couple more or just a Vactorel filter. I love the sound of the Vactorel as a filter. Okay, so we have our sequence going on. Let's see. We need to trigger some sort of envelope. So I'm gonna use the Sigma, the function generator as an envelope. And I want it to be exponential. So it's very easy here. You just patch the AC output into the, packed into the CV input. And now you have control over the linearity of the fall on this case. I'm switching to modulate the fall. So it will be a very punchy kind of envelope, percussion envelope. Okay, so now I need to trigger it. We can use the all gate from Leo Leo. All gate will trigger a gate output every time it passes through a stage, unless it is muted here with these toggles here. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna trigger the function, okay. We have a function, we just need to patch its output 
and use the DC output patch it into Krapau see the dampening control here? I can make it very fast in the low frequencies modulate the pitch I'm going simple right so I'm going to use the ABCD output for this okay ABCD goes into the Volper octave toggle controls that I have here so we have four for each direction the sequence is going I can either skip a step or play it normally or stop the sequence at this step at the third step for example and then restart it again apart from that we can also mute a stage for example all right so we can this is a I found that it's really great for performance. I think one thing that I love to do is always FM and going into the low pass gate, so I'm gonna try to do that with the sign of this one going into the FM input of the other oscillator then maybe I want to pitch this one as well. Let's see. another eight step sequence here that I'm gonna use to pitch the modulation VCO I want to try it let's see sound here just thinking what can I do next maybe I want to break the linearity of the movement of the sequence so I'm gonna play with the divider here testing it on the left input clock to see if I can disturb or even triggering a street um, triggering a stage once in a while let's see I'm gonna use this this is a perfect match for this programmer great work Pete
I was just muting the clock once again to sequence the other programmer here as well. Because now I want to control the time of the sequence itself. So I'm going to use this one to control at least part of it to control the LFO that I'm using as a main clock. Let's see. I'm just going to use more clock divisions to randomly trigger stages around on this one or on the other one as well. Iterating on it, just looking for more ways to modulate other things that are modulating other things. <laughs> so completely without a direction going on here, just exploring a little bit. Thank you. 
actually great on the function generator. You can actually modulate the linear linearity of the curve. Here you can switch between the rising or the falling curve. And I'm self-modulating it so it can be exponential, linear, logarithmic. It's a pretty cool feature. So what I was thinking to do next. I guess next I'll just modulate a little bit the reverb just to test it. And I think that's it. Thanks for staying. Hope you enjoyed the models. Leo Leo is available on my GitHub. All the instructions to build it. Also available online very, very, very soon. More news to come on this. Thanks for staying around. Happy New Year. <laughs>